Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday and welcome to Friday Favorites and Flops. I hope you guys all had a really good week. I had a pretty good week myself. I actually just got back from getting a pedicure, which I don't know what it is, man. I've tried to do my own pedicures at home and I'm just never happy with, um, first off, my polished job, which is absolutely horrific. <laughs> Like I'm one of those people that's like, doo -doo 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 -doo, like just polish everywhere. And then I think to myself, oh, it's fine. Like when I get in the shower, like for a few days in a row, it'll just come off my skin. It'll be fine. Um, but I just, I also like having someone massage my calves and I just, I'm, it's not the same when you do it yourself. And so I just had a really amazing pedicure and my feet look I mean, as good as feet can look, right? Because feet are kind of gross. But um, yeah, I've got some red polish on. Um, it is a color called Old Hollywood from Quo Nail Polishes. And I've actually had this polish for several years. My friend Stephanie from Flourish XO sent it to me um, in a package that I think she sent for like my birthday one year or something. And I've had it on my toes a couple times. And every time I have it on there, it's absolutely stunning. Um, of course, it's downstairs in the kitchen. I should have totally brought it up and showed it to you guys, but I'll see if I can find it and lick it. It's if it's if it is still available because this was a, a few years ago that she sent me this package. Um, I'll try to link it down below. Uh, Quo. I don't know if they are exclusively a Canadian brand. They might be because Steph is from Nova Scotia. So anyway, I have really good things to share with you guys this week. Um, I'll do my Penny update real quick. Um, she's doing good. She is four months old now and is a stinker. Um, I was sharing on Instagram the other day, it was earlier this week, that she is just such a pain in the butt. Um, but it's all like puppy stuff and she just has an insane amount of energy. So I spend a lot of time outside and luckily it's been beautiful. It's been so nice and warm in Oregon and dry for a change. I've been spending a ton of time with her outside, playing with her, getting that energy out, um, you know, trying to continue to work on the potty training thing, which is, I feel like pugs are just notoriously difficult for potty training because they're stubborn. I think they're probably one of the most stubborn breeds. Um, and sometimes I think to myself, why am I a pug person? <laughs> Cause like these dogs are not easy. <laughs> they're so cute. And that's what it is. Like when she looks at me and she just has those big googly eyes and she's just like, mama, hold me. Like it's, oh God, I just melt and part of the problem because I have a really hard time um, telling her no sometimes. I mean, I do. I tell her no a lot, but um, yeah, it's just, and she's so naughty that like, I mean, she's constantly doing things. I think I only catch her maybe like 30% of the time when she's doing things. <laughs> so um, yeah, anyway, Penny is great. She, uh, she might come running in here. I don't, can you guys hear her barking? She's very vocal, um, which is fine. I don't have a problem with, I don't like excessive barking, but I'm fine with her, you know, like talking every once in a while. But anyway, she might pop in here. Um, I am gonna go ahead and get into the things that I wanna share this week. I will link them all down below. Um, I'm gonna start with something that is, like it's not an entire flop, but it, it's not working for my face. <laughs> so um, this is the Somme Skincare Double Defense. So this is their SPF. And the problem that I have with it is that it's way too shiny for my face. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the formula here. Um, I've been using it on my neck and my chest and it's, it's perfect there, like not a problem at all. I don't have an issue with there being a little bit of shine it here, but because my skin is so oily, this shininess combined with like my natural oil production is just, it's not a good fit. So I have not been using this on my face. Um, I used it on my face for a few days in a row and then was like, I don't like the way my face looks. Um, I mean, within like an hour of putting on my makeup, it just, everything was shiny. So here's what it looks like. It does, um, 
it leaves just a little bit of a white cast, but it's more of like the shine that I have an issue with versus the white cast. Um, that I can work with. It's, um, it's this, it's a shine. It's shiny. So I feel like this is great for those of you who like a glow to your face. I am just, I am not the glow girl. I talk all the time about how I much prefer either a matte or satin finish at most. Anything that makes my face shiny, I'm automatically like, ah, no, because that accentuates my pores. And if there's one thing on my face that I am not looking to accentuate, it's my pores. Like I would rather people stare at like my forehead wrinkles or literally any other flaw on my entire body. <laughs> like, look at look at my little spider veins on my legs. Look at my man calves. Uh, do not look at my pores. I don't need to draw any more attention to my pores. That's just that's my one thing. You know, everybody has their thing where they're like, mm, my pores are it for me. So um, anyway, I like it on my neck and my chest, and I will continue to use it there. But I I can't use this on my face. So anyway, um, yeah. But it's four ounces. It should last me a while. It expires uh, August of 2021. So I've got a little while to get through this, but I do like the packaging on this. Um, it is a very nice pump. Um, it's very easy to close it. So when I go to visit my mom this weekend for Mother's Day, um, by the way, happy early Mother's Day to all the mamas out there and the grandmas and the great grandmas and the mamas to be the fur mamas, everyone who is a mom to someone or some animal. Happy Mother's Day. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take this up with me. I'm gonna have my mom try it. I'm curious to see how she likes it on her face. So now let me, uh, I have an SPF that I do like for my face and I did a review of this. You would have seen it yesterday, I believe. Um, it's the Ren Skincare Clean Screen Mineral SPF 30 Mattifying Face Sunscreen Broad Spectrum. This guy right here. So in the video, well, what's happening here? In the video, uh, my hair has a weird texture to it today. You know how sometimes when you're mixing like hair products and you're like, oh yeah, like my hair has some grip, but then you're not used to like the grip being in your hair and you can't run your fingers through as easily. That's what I'm working with today. Um, so in the video that I shared yesterday, if you missed it, I'll link it down below. The one flaw that I said that this particular product has is that um, it's, it leaves a white cast and a pretty noticeable one. And when you read through all the reviews, um, there are definitely a lot of people who have uh, tan to deep dark skin tones that said, this is just not something that they can use. It basically just <laughs> makes their faces look ashy. Um, so pasty girls all the way up to maybe medium skin tone. I think this is really, really good. And I like it a lot for my oily skin. It definitely takes a little while to dry down. Um, and I do use my powder. And right now I'm using this and loving it because I have forever. It's the Mineral Veil from um, Bare Minerals. This is a deluxe size. Um, I do put that over my face before I put my powder foundation on so that the powder foundation doesn't stick to any particular area. Um, really good stuff you guys it has definitely feel like it has protected my face um it doesn't make me excessively oily it doesn't accentuate my pores it's not shiny um and it's it's a great formula i'm not breaking out um there are some um like essential oils in here i think that might be irritating to some people I'd read through the ingredient list first before you dive into this one, but I have not had an issue at all. Um, it's good stuff in my eyes and I would definitely recommend it. One thing that I have to talk again, talk about again this week that I talked about last week because I just love, I love this stuff. It's the Pacifica Coconut Cream Body Souffle. If you have not tried this, you need this for this summer. It is fabulous after shaving your legs like I have to touch my legs because I just I put this on after um, shaving my legs and oh man it's so it's so good you guys it doesn't really smell as coconutty as I would want it to but it is beautiful on the legs it doesn't have any kind of shimmer to it it has more of like I would say a gel 
maybe like a gel lotion type texture but oh it just it sinks in but then doesn't um and it's like a, it's a good hand cream too by the way it sinks in um it doesn't sit on top of the skin and you just feel like your skin is getting like a drink and um I feel like I've been dealing with dry skin a lot more the older I get so I slather myself in a lot of things um, my face is never gonna be dry <laughs> but the rest of my body is especially my hands like man I hit 40 and my hands were like F you lady uh, we are gonna start showing our age right now my hands look brutal sometimes and it really, it's, most of it is due to my job. My hands are in and out of water, in and out of like floral chemicals. And um, the summer wedding season is just starting. So it's just going to continue to get worse from here. Um, I'm just going to have to like maybe buy a tub of this to keep out in the garage in my workspace. And I'll just have to like reapply often. But um, yeah, if you haven't tried that, you must. Also, uh, it is light fruity, um, just airy fragrance season for me. <laughs> These are the Contour Sud Pacific fragrances in Vanilla Apricot and Vanilla Blackberry. If you've never tried these, they are incredible. The Vanilla Blackberry reminds me a lot of Falling in Love from Philosophy. I've said this before, I wore that on my wedding day and it is just such a beautiful scent. Um, I was really glad to find something that mimics it. Um, this is delicious. There is a definite vanilla undertone to both of these, but they're just so fresh and light and pretty. And oh man, I just, I can't tell you how beautiful these fragrances are. If you've never sniffed them out, unfortunately, I don't think they're readily carried inside Sephora stores. So you kind of have to take a chance with them. But I do think all of these have a like a little travel size spritzer. I would start there. That's what I will link down below for you guys for both of these fragrances. It's just the little guys to start out with. But man, if you love them, uh, like I bought, these are one ounce, right? What are, yeah, one fluid ounce. I started out with the one fluid ounce. Um, I kind of took a chance at Sephora. But uh, yeah, the next go around, I'm gonna be buying like the big, like three ounce Mama Jamas because they're so good. The Vanilla Blackberry, I'm almost to the halfway point, and this one I'm about hmm, a third of the way through. They're both gorgeous. Great for this time of year. All right, on my eyes this week, I have been basic, basic eye girl. Um, the Urban Decay Naked Basics 2, which is my personal favorite because I prefer cool tones. Um, I've been wearing this a lot. Um, I love to put the shade uh, Primal in my crease and then just put Stark on my lid and then use Undone as my liner and just kind of blend all of that into an oblivion so that it looks like almost just like a natural contour on my eyes. Um, this is amazing. I don't even know if this is still available. I know some of you don't like it when I show things that I'm not sure about their availability anymore <laughs> or things that are limited edition, but I mean, the thing is, like, I show on my channel what I'm using, and sometimes it might be something that could be discontinued, but I'll, I'll see if I can still find this somewhere. If you have it, get it out. Gosh, it's good. Um, and another super basic eye um, is the Cover Shot Matte Eye Palette from Smashbox. If you've never tried these Smashbox palettes, they're like 29 bucks. They're so good. These are an amazing formula, you guys absolutely amazing incredible formulation on these buttery soft blendable good good stuff if you have either or both get them out they're so good um on my lips right now and most of this week i keep looking in the mirror over here because i i really like the finish of my makeup with this stuff um i will say though it's, it's not going to replace my Paula's Choice Resist. It's not. Um, because I just, I love the tint of that one. And I love that that is also a moisturizer. And I love that it just makes my skin look like a beautiful, 
like satin finish. It just, ugh, it's amazing. Um, but this is really good. And I do like the way this looks on my skin so much. Um, but yeah, let's talk about lips. Um, Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, obviously a more expensive lipstick, but man, is this pretty. So many people talk about this shade because it's stunning. Um, it's kind of the perfect nude. It's a little bit of a darker nude. But the tone of it is, it's just like a warm, rosy, brownie. It's just so pretty. I love that. And then this Fenty Gloss Balm in Fussy. Oh man. Uh, yeah. I held off on this for a very long time. Uh, I should have just bought it when it first came out. By the way, I think she's actually releasing a bunch more shades. Um, kind of excited because this formula, you guys, is amazing. I also love this enormous dome foot applicator. It's actually kind of comical how big it is, but you just like just swipe, swipe, and you're good to go. But this is fantastic. Uh, the original one I think is really pretty too. Um, but the diamond one, I don't, I don't know. That's just a little too shiny for me. This is gorgeous. Blushes, uh, these two. Uh, this is the Laura Geller blush in Dreamsicle. You can actually get this at QVC in this size, but I want to say it's like 24 bucks, which I think is ridiculous. Like it should be a full size for $24, but dang, is it an amazing, maybe it's not $24. Okay, don't quote me on that. I'll look it up. I'll put the information down below. But this is a beautiful peachy pink blush. It also has yellow in there, which may seem really random, but it just works. This is actually what I have. No, this, I'm lying. This is not what I have on my cheeks today. I have this on my cheeks, but um, I've been alternating between these two. They're so pretty. They're actually somewhat similar, <laughs> but um, yeah, just, oh, so pretty. She should put this out in a full size if it's not in a full size. I don't remember where I got this. It has this weird sticker on it. I legit don't remember where I got this, but it's very pretty. I think it was, I think it was a time that I placed an order with Laura Geller and it was like a free gift, I think. Um, anyway, this, oh. So it's the Marc Jacobs Air Blush in Lines and Last Night. I don't know how this got past my radar for so long because I love Flesh and Fantasy. So pretty. Um, but this, ugh, it, this is like, so Flesh and Fantasy is a really great year round. This is specifically spring and summer and it's beautiful, you guys. So this is what I have on my cheeks today for this lovely glow. And that's what I really appreciate about these. It has the same type of glowy blush finish that the Hourglass ones do, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes, but um, not shiny, not glitter explosion, not like highlight explosion, uh, just pretty. It's so pretty. And I do with these also like to use a natural bristle brush. This is something I talked about a few weeks ago. Natural bristle brushes are really my favorite when it comes to blush brushes because they just blend blush so much better. Um, I just can't really use synthetic blush brushes. This is a great contour brush for me. This is from Sonia Kashuk. That one is from Sonia Kashuk as well, although I think that one is discontinued. Um, but this synthetic one, great for contour. Not good for my blush though. I feel like it sticks. It makes the blush stick and then difficult to blend. So there's that. And the last thing I wanna share, I'm not gonna talk about too much, but I'm really loving it. I will do an in-depth review of it next week, talking about it just a little bit more, is the brand new Accomplice Powder from Marc Jacobs. I have the shade Ingenue. Mm -hmm. Again, beautiful. I don't even want to say glow to the skin. It it has a satin finish, but it's not completely matte. So I think those of you who are like matte phobes um, would probably actually really enjoy this. Oh, the finish of it and the look that it gives my skin, like as like a finishing touch, is amazing. This is another really great product from Marc Jacobs. And I think that this little thing, this brush, is pretty genius. Although I will say, I don't know that they entirely thought through the design of this because it is very difficult to get the bristles back into this little slot here without causing them to like get all splayed out on the sides, if that makes sense. 
So I'm not really using this in any kind of way, and I guess you could like kind of wiggle it back and forth, but I don't know who's gonna take that much time. You're just gonna wanna shove it back in there, especially if you're out on the go. But I do appreciate that it comes apart completely and that you can wash this. So if you did wanna use it for touch-ups on the go, you could totally do that. But yeah, anyway, love, love it so far. There we go. I hope you guys have a really amazing weekend. I hope that you are able to celebrate with your mom. Um, if she's still around, obviously some of us or some of you may have lost your mothers. I know that uh, my mom lost my Oma. Um, she's been gone for, I think, close to like 18, 20 years now, but um, yeah. That loss is very difficult and watching my mom every mother's day like not have her mom around is really really hard and i just i can't even like imagine that for myself for me it's like hard to not have my oma around but for my mom it's like incredibly hard so if any of you out there are not able to be with your mother because she's no longer here with us um i'm sending you big hugs so um all right have a great weekend i'll see you in my next video